Hello, Mr. Miniker. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Why are you mispronouncing my fucking name? Oh, I apologize. I, I, you it's, know. it's not it's not Miniker. I don't know where you guys are getting that. It's Minotaur. When you fuck <laughs> with the bulls, you get the horns. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, you know, running Kiwi Farms ain't pussy business here, Ralph. So what's uh, I've got ops I'm running. What do you need? Well, I mean, I, I thought this was the peace summit. I thought we were. Uh, I don't know. I heard some dried up fucking thought wanted to talk to me. So here I am. What's Corinne? Are you here? are you still here? By the way, we can still hear this in the background. So just kind of kind of turn. I can it barely down. hear you guys. Tell Grandma to turn her hearing aids up and turn her fucking stream down. All right. To get this shit rolling. Okay, if he says any more bad words, I'm gonna hang up on him. He doesn't own Kiwi Farm, and you guys lie to me. A kid, a little kid named Moon owns Kiwi Farm. No. So a, li a little kid named Moon? Boy, you're a dumb cunt, aren't you? Aren't you? You're a dumb motherfucker. Okay, no more bad words. All right, I right, just. Uh, Corinne, Corinne just tell on. me which of the following is a bad. bad tell me which of the following is a bad word. You're a fucking whore. Is that a bad word, Corinne? Listen to that. Are you a fucking whore. Is that is that a bad this word? Is... Would you list that on your bad word list? This is why he's an internet oh super villain. He's an internet you know super villain. Corinne, I'm curious. Did you use your super chat money to hire a maid to clean up the cobwebs in your pussy? I've never had a super chat money, so you're a liar and you're a shitty reporter. It was Mr. a it was a qu it was a question. Corinne. I've never had a It was super a question, money, Corinne, so not a, a statement. It's called a yeah. question, not a statement. I don't know who Moon Medicare, is. I don't, know what, I don't know. I don't know what Moon is. Show. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a confused old woman. You never say bad words to women. You're, ever, you're a confused ever. old woman, Corinne. And I'm an American blonde, and my family found it. I don't know if that's a natural America. hair color. At the age and of sixty, never, doesn't it start to go gray? Ever. I'm nowhere near sixty. Oh, you're sixty-four, sixty-three. I think somewhere no. up there. I'm pretty sure you are. No. You look like you, totally you have more plastic on you than a Barbie doll. God, watch you. You have more plastic on you than a Barbie doll, Corinne. I have never had any plastic surgery ever to anything on my body. Well, how do you leave the house? Liar, then? Medicare, how, do you, how do you leave Medicare, the house? Then? Do you put a bag over your head. No one is should that, watch him. Is that what you do? You total a trash bag liar, and he's just trying to make money off of you guys. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm here to make the big bucks so Who I can run the hot though? hack site Kiwi Farms. That's what we do, Corinne. <laughs> that's how we do. Okay. My chat is telling me to hang up on you because that's not really Mr. Medicare. No, that's it that's is. it's that's, him. That's really Mr. Medicare. I, I, I don't know. I, I told terrified. you, Corinne. It's it's Mr. Minotaur because no you fuck with the bull, terrified. you get the horns. Corinne. No one's Corinne. It's, Corinne, no, it's, it's one hundred percent him. Yeah, Trust me. Oh, I want verification. I everyone's saying that. Corinne, I talked to you. We talked to you before the stream. I talked to you before the stream. I know, stream. but you lied to me. Who's not I didn't. Dark? I didn't lie to you. They all lied to you, Corinne. Dark? They all lied to you. They all work for Kiwi Farms. We're well, all 24 lie. op and up here. Dude, it's all 24 hour ops up in here, Corinne. Jihadi Jarbo is is that. one of his accolades. Who is Matt? She's yeah. asking who who is Matt Jarbo, Jim. Can you, can you? Matt Jarbo oh, is an administrator. Jihadi Matt Jarbo. Jarbo is an administrator on Kiwi Farms. Jihadi Jarbo is the one that ran the GamerGate op, Corinne. To get How whores out of video games. Said. Well, I'm maybe maybe read a book, Corinne. I don't know. Zoe Quinn wrote a book. Go read it. Ooh, can you read? Keep on jabbing me. Are, can you read? Are you, you able to? Or are your old you're eyes women? make it difficult to make out figures like on a, a piece of paper? When you're rude to women. Does it make you feel better about yourself when you're I, I don't think you're really what could be considered a woman when you've had yeah, that many parts of your body you're replaced by plastic surgery, you're rude to women. Yep, keep on zero plastic surgery. I, oh, I, and you I know think what? What is your real that. name, sir? Because you know my real name. What is your real name? And you hide behind a fake tacky name. So you want my real name? Yeah, what's your real name? Is it James? It's, uh, it's Andy. It's Andy Worski. That's W A R S K I, and that's a Andy W for a winner, Corinne. Something you're never gonna I be. I want Andy Worski. Where is Andy? Andy Worski, I'm He's... ready to do your show. I'm sick Andy, of getting Andy tortured Worski by idiots. Andy Worski doesn't want to talk to a used up plastic show. thought, Corinne. He's not Andy interested. Andy Worski has the best show. I'm Andy totally Worski is not gonna let Andy you in his house to steal his iPads, Corinne. He's not Andy, gonna let you do it. Uh, Andy's uh, busy announcing the cancellation of his show. Excuse me, whoever's talking to phone's an idiot. I did not steal anyone's iPad. My iPad was stolen. We all know that you're an iPad thief, Corinne. Watch Because I've got video clips. You want to see the videotape of them I saw the video when you held up an iPad and said, I stole this from I stole this from Paul Danino. You held up an iPad and said, I stole this from Paul Danino. I'm 
not even listening to anything he's saying. It's so stupid. Yeah, so, this is like getting dumb. What about the iPad, Karen? The technology isn't working, you guys, to do this show. I'm so sorry. It's not oh, working. God, yeah, it's hard for people to make technology work, isn't it? it just, you have I to do it. Corinne, Corinne, do you have a granddaughter that can help you work it? Maybe go get one of your great grandchildren to make the stream work for you. Current, tur turn off, turn off the stream in the background. It, the the, the really backlash, the the backlash is, is making it so you can't hear us. No wait, say it, say it again. Really want to know who owns Kiwi Farms? Corinne, I can't understand you. Put the dentures in deeper so we can pick up the words you're saying. Your not Put a little more glue on your dentures so we can understand you, Corinne. What are you saying? I have no idea what they're saying. I can't even hear. Oh, I heard someone just say they didn't understand me. I don't understand that. Corinne, we can hear you. I know you can hear us. So. <laughs> okay, it's the stream Corinne in the background that's messing it up. F-O-R-E-V-E-R. -E -E I have no idea who I'm talking to. This is like, this this is like watching somebody's but confused really grandpa sure wandering around the old age home. Now my phone calls are out of control. Corinne. I'm getting out of control phone calls. Yeah. Corinne, you asked me here. Okay, you want to know yourself. about how Since Kiwi Farms there. is run? I've got Who's talking to, to me? I've got things to do, Corinne. What do you want to know about Kiwi Farms? I'm on this ridiculous. I don't know who I'm talking to, but it's called the Kill Stream with Ralph. I thought Ralph was a cool cat. Yeah, it's a suggestion. He named it after a suggestion. Yeah. Corinne, take that suggestion. Anyway, my phone's ringing off the hook. Um, okay, so Ralph, if you want to organize this in an organized way, I thought I'd talk about what Ice Poseidon said today. I Nobody cares, Corinne. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, Corinne. Not a single person on Earth cares about people all care, the people's thoughts on you. On live stream. He oh my God, that's so that tragic. It's so tragic, Corinne. Accounts. We're all playing a small violin over there. He admitted to hacked two of my email accounts. He's been super hacked, guys. He's been super hacked by the police. Yeah. And, um... Hack, 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 I never did anything with Justin Carey, no. discussed him Carey, nothing. He claimed yeah. you sucked his dick and in, a, in a bush. And I don't know who was on the <laughs> He said I, he's, my viewers are telling me that it's not really this Mr. Medical. <laughs> no, it is. It is. So Ralph, now, forever. Ralph, to be fair, she couldn't suck a dick. Her dentures were pulled out. My channel so I don't think that's a true story. <laughs> someone saying bad words. Corinne forever. Promote my channel. Practice. Is that how long you've been alive forever? Because <laughs> you look like you're 128 years Corinne old. Corinne forever. Everyone when you when you spread your legs, do bats fly out, Corinne? <laughs> That's just a question I'm curious I, about. Do the bats come out of there? Do they dwell there in the daylight? I don't. Anything else exciting you guys want to say? I don't even know who I'm talking to. Honestly, I can't even verify verify who is. You can't on this verify channel. it. Is that what Valley Girls I do in California? I who is on this channel, Ralph. It'll be it's, a it's, it's, we, we've had we've had Mr. Minotaur on here several times. It's definitely him. Okay, what is his real name? I'm not calling someone by their alias name. I want to talk to a real person with a real name. Jim is his name. Carl Benjamin. Jim it's it's, it's Carl Jim, Benjamin. It's, it's Jim Minotaur. Carl That's Benjamin. They call is me. Mr. Minotaur's real name. Well, so my friends call Jim. me that, Corinne. My friends call me Carl Jim my chat Benjamin. Says. Wait, someone gave me your name. It's Jim something. I'm going to tell you in a second. Right. Jim something? Is that what a capital um, is? I want to know who is on my chat. Um, I want to know Let's see. who is on my chat. Yeah, no, they're saying that. they. Okay, what is Mr. Minnaker's real name? It's Jim Minotaur, you dumb cunt. I'm not even gonna think so low as to call someone a bad word. It shows how tacky and trash. Well, that's because you, you have a limited You're vocabulary. Trash. The Botox makes it hard hey, to Ralph, open your mouth to come up with intricate say. words oh, his with name is Jim syllables. Benjamin. Yeah, what is uh, Mr. Minnaker's real name? James yeah. Benjamin. Yes, it's yeah, James now my Benjamin. Cat's good. I, I love the cat. My little fatty cat. Corinne yeah, you, forever. Yeah, it's -E James. It's My James Benjamin. Benjamin. Nobody cares what your channel is, Corinne. Nobody wants to watch an uh, old. Oh, then, then why are you talking to me if I'm still important? Because you begged me to, to me. come on. You just... begged me to come on. You're thirsty for attention. Who so are you? Remind I'm me the who guy you that you begged to come on, Corinne. That's who I am. I want to talk to Andy Worski. You're lame. No, I like Andy Worski doesn't want to you. Worski? Nobody does. Shout That's out to Andy put a bag on your head. He's way better than this guy, Jim. Jim is boring. And Jim's facts are wrong. He thinks I stole an iPad. He obviously has no facts. Obviously, you did. He's known as Corinne the iPad. I have a police report on it. <laughs> And you all, you all, Jim, honest, Mr. Miniker, Jim Benjamin's facts are stupid, and he's like, rude to Monday women. He should be taken off YouTube for his sexist remarks. He uses too many bad words. 
I don't know how you guys watch this trash. Honestly, this would never be allowed on a major television. You're still here, aren't you? You're still no here, Corinne. You're still here begging for attention, aren't you? I mean, you nobody would even do this. Like, this is actually entertainment to me to hear some idiot call so many bad words. Ralph, do you have an off button for this robot? Is there a <laughs> oh, for this my thing? gosh. Um, so hit, hit the Stanley back. East Side, what is that? I She's so very email. confused. The Stanley East Side. Aw. Yeah, everyone's worried about me. Are they? Be. This shows you how much bullies these guys are. Well, we're known as bully jerks <laughs> at Kiwi <laughs> Farms. So that's the nickname we go by. <laughs> Kiwi Farms, the bully jerks. Okay, Ralph, well, do you want to chill and start over? No, nobody no, wants to chill with no, you unless you're no. put in a freezer where you belong. Oh my god, this is the stupidest conversation. I think this is the dumbest conversation I've ever had with a man in my life. So you should life. fit right in because you're an idiot. And he's honestly not even allowed to be on YouTube. He's so trashy. So I can't even hear half the stuff he's saying, but it's just. That's probably because you're old and your hearing aids aren't working. Put a new battery in. Oh, keep on saying stupid things. Oh, you so, heard that, though, didn't you, man? So you heard that, I'm didn't so you? Old. Pick that up clearly, I'm didn't so you, Corinne? Talking about them getting blowjobs on Ice Poseidon channel today. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm nobody cares whose dick you suck, Corinne. Uh, but wait, last uh, night yes, you said that you fucked. Want... Wait, wait. No one cares about you. Corinne, to be fair, last night, trash. excuse me, last night yeah. you said you didn't fuck celebrities. You fucked IRL streamers. I can't hear you. I'm sorry, Ralph. I can't hear you. Think of it. I think you probably could hear me, but Ralph, you got got to moderate this better because this guy is really, really, really rude. If he, I don't even know if it's really who he says he is, but is. you got to moderate this. Uh, uh, Corinne, did they hey, name you after is, chlorine? Because that's what people want to drink after they, they real listen real to you. Name? What is his real name? Oh my James God, Benjamin. Name. It's James Benjamin. Okay, James Benjamin. That's right. Do you okay, want to talk to my? Do you want to talk to my stepfather, Corinne? Know. He's a big man. He's an important man. I was told that you uh, own Kiwi Farms, and that's how it all started. And you, so I guess you don't own Kiwi Farms, or you do own Kiwi Farms. Why would I be here? Why would I? Why would I be here if I were not? The, why would I be here if I was not the owner of Kiwi Farms, Corinne? I don't know, dude. You're probably a game player like everyone else. Okay, so a, a game player. God, what are you? Eighty years old. Kiwi Farms. When you used to play with uh, hoops and sticks, was Carl that what you call each Benjamin. other? Game players? And what was, state are you, what state are you Carl? Ben Benjamin? What state am I in? I live in Tennessee. I, I, live in, I, I live in Tennessee, Corinne. Chlorine, yeah, I live in Tennessee. Tennessee, that's awesome. Yeah, that's right. Nashville, Tennessee, Chlorine. That's where I live. Why is someone trying to ring me on the phone from a, a 508 number who says that they're your 35% investor? Someone's calling me saying they're your 35% investor. And I'm going to guess that's, I'm, that's, that's, that's Matt Charbo. My, this is really my right funny. Man. I'm getting bad phone calls about this guy. That, yeah, that's everything, my right anyway, hand. Anyway. Anyway. I'm just trying to tell me and I'll jump in, but everything Mr. Minoka ever said about me was bullshit and a lie. My iPad was stolen at Ice Poseidon's house with the LAPD. Green, I stop stealing iPads. I have a video. Matt we'll play Eminem. the video. On We've Adventures with Corinne, which is my Instagram account. On. You can follow my YouTube, Corinne Forever. It's not okay to bully people on the internet. I don't know why anybody watches Mr. Minnaker if he's going to say bad words. Do you want to start over, Ralph, and, and play the role? And we're, be we're live here on the air now, Corinne. What, I mean, yeah, so what why don't you, you start the role to be a better moderator? Because I expected you to be a good okay, moderator. Okay, you had, a so quest, you had questions stuff. you wanted to ask Mr. Minnaker. Minotaur. Minotaur. The only reason Excuse why me, I want Minotaur. to talk to him Minotaur. is... Does he own Kiwi Farm? Who owns this Kiwi Farm thing? And what state is it based out of? James Benjamin owns Kiwi Farms, and it's based in Nashville, Tennessee, Chlorine. Oh, interesting. Okay, thank you for being a gentleman. Look, our Vader may come to the light side. Why well, they always okay told me to, to respect my elders. Women? Why is it ever okay to post your party ice conspiracy that's happening to hurt women? Why do you think it's ever okay to say a bad word to a woman? I'm just curious. Uh, because Why is it ever, it's a me too. It's me too. Now everyone on social oh, media. she keeps talking. Totally uh, respectful. You gotta let it. You yeah. gotta let him answer, Corinne. Everyone you, who's on social media, it's time to be respectful to women and give us a fair chance. Corinne, you we, gotta. We honestly care about you guys. You know what? I care about people. I would okay. never name. I would never think the level of name calling anyone. It's so stupid okay. and standing. <laughs> she, she just sings to the level of stealing iPads.
I preside and stole my iPad, you complete idiot. Did you, you not stole watch his, the footage? You, you stole Paul Danino's no, iPad. You, We've oh all seen God, the footage. He's lying. Um, you want to see the footage on? It's on my Instagram, Adventures with Corinne. Paul Danino. I, I can't look at iPad. nudity, Corinne. I and don't want to look at LAC. you naked on Instagram. <laughs> there, no. You're not allowed to have nudity on Instagram, you idiot. My God, yeah, because nobody really wants stupid. to see it. Nobody wants to see you naked. Bobby? That's why. That's the rule. That's why they came up with it. You were really dumb. Gosh. I mean, did you go to college? Was there a question in this, Corey? Yeah. Did, yeah. did you have another? Oh okay. Oh, my God. So I'm going to yeah, show you guys my Instagram right now, and I'm going to show you Paul feeling my... Uh, I can't see anything in the Skype call, you old batty cunt. I'm going to show you all Paul feeling my... Doing my, uh, All right, so uh, Corinne, did you did you have another question? He, he answered a question about. Uh, I can't hear anything you guys are saying. The then how did you know to respond to that? I'm not responding to anything you said. I'm talking on my stream. But you just responded again. I'm showing the videotape oh, on God. my stream. I can't hear anything you guys are saying. <sighs> yeah, I'm showing the videotape on my stream. Okay, did did you have another question? I'm, you told me to moderate, so I'm trying to. You're not really being a respectful monitor. I can't even hear you. You just heard me. I'm showing right now on my stream where he says it's my iPad and I'm stealing it from her. But how are you so, able to converse with me if you can't hear me? That's what I don't understand. I can barely hear you. Oh, no. Okay, what, do you want to play right now where he says he's stealing no. my iPad? Not Nobody really. does. Not no, really. not really. No, not interested. Sorry. Yeah, it's right on my Instagram. Adventures with Corinne. Nobody <laughs> wants to look at Grandma's <laughs> Instagram, Corinne. Again and again and again. By the way, uh, for the record, Corinne, yeah, we, we, played, we played this. We played this, Corinne. We played this weeks ago. Is she just literally holding the yeah, phone up to her computer right now? Corinne, what are you doing? I think you really triggered her with the iPad remark. Okay, Corinne. Well, Ralph, I'd love to stick around, but yeah. I have life to ruin and women to harass on Kiwi Farms, of which hold I am on, the owner. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just let me just hang up on her for a sec because I had a couple other questions I wanted to ask you besides the okay. since, I, since I have you here. What did Maybe you think? MLK was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good, that was the soundboard. Um, <laughs> What did you think about? Uh, and we might may or may not get her back on later, but I think we we had enough of that. Um, what did you think about Sargon's, uh, you know, alt right letter, and then the video he did yesterday, and and all that his his uh, seeming obsession with the with the alt right. Uh, I, I I don't know. That's like the third letter he's written. I'm yeah. gonna guess. I, I don't know. It's the third letter he's written in like the 18th video he's made. Yeah, uh, and he made it's a big... like you know, you know how people say H Bomber guy has an obsession with Sargon. Well, Sargon's made more videos and fucking posts on the alt right than H Bomber guy's made on Sargon. <laughs> it is a little, uh, a little hilarious. Oh, also, uh, I don't know if you saw Worski stream, but the Kumite is is apparently done. Did you uh, did you have any thoughts on that? Since we have you here on the breaking news story. No, I missed that. What's going on? Um, they're saying the Kumite is done. Uh, they they're quitting. Apparently, it's not a a comedy bit. They're actually going to quit the comité. So, all right, now are we sure, or is this going to be a tomorrow? Hey, 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 we uh, we got you guys. It's a zinger. No, nope. Andy said it's not going to be on his channel anymore. Tonka doesn't want to do it. So, um, I think Failure was talking about doing a morning show, um, like on his own. So, I I don't know. Whatever. Right. Hey, if they don't like doing it, they don't like doing it. I guess is that why? Why are they quitting? I guess I, I should probably ask. Um, I think, well, uh, they did cite the stream on Sunday and I think, um, I think Tonka maybe just getting, getting fed up. People have been going at him pretty hard the last couple of weeks. So it seems like, uh, seems like that's kind of gotten to him a little bit. So. No, no. Okay. I, I, you know, listen, I've been preparing for the, uh, <laughs> the, the super secret lawsuit that uh, Kraut and the Ops yeah, gang. Yeah, that's another thing with. I was just about to ask you about. What What did you think about that? I, I, I saw it on Twitter, and apparently they're going to try to sue you to get your real name. And, and uh, oh, I have no idea. I, I well, here's my thoughts on that. I have no idea if it's real. I, you know, as Braving Roan was saying afterwards, mm -hmm. oh, they were claiming it was a troll. Well, I don't know. I mean, if you're running a gay Discord group that does 24 hour ops that got you know fucking busted for doing shit like that in the first place. 
And then your idea of trolling afterwards is to do more of it, but only pretend to do it. You, you're gonna, nobody's going to believe that it was a joke. They're going to think you're all fucking idiots. I was only pretending to be a trout. Yeah, yeah plus I saw uh, some people, I guess it was Braving Ruin or whoever he was talking to, maybe said that uh, they changed it to that because they knew that you know some of their messages, messages had been leaked, and so now they were going to try to act like it was a joke. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Didn't didn't really seem like a joke to me. I saw you. Well, mention- no. I mean, if if he sues me, I, I'm gonna live stream the court case. <laughs> yeah. I'm, sorry. Uh, I, I'm not kidding. And then the first day, I'm gonna dress up like that fucking soy picture of uh, Nintendo Lobo. You know, the Wojak one where he's got <laughs> the fucking robot suit on. Because <laughs> 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 uh, you know, I, at that at that point, why would I give a shit? So, uh, and then I'll probably counter sue uh, for fun, and uh, just so I can read off his forum posts in a court of law, so they're they're on record where he's talking about killing Muslims and other shitskins. Because just. To, <laughs> Just to get that on record for his, you know. I don't think that goes over too button. well in the EU where he lives. I don't. I think that might be. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. That might be a bit of an issue. But uh, <laughs> I, no, I have no idea. Yeah, I'll live stream it if he does. It'll be fun. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you for coming on. Man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I would. I would have had a conversation with her, but God, is she so fucking annoying? It's tough, like, you know. I tried to rot it really out, hard. and uh, she just wasn't. She wasn't cooperating. Also, one of the main problems was she had. Her stream on in the background, which was totally unneeded, totally superfluous, that was not needed, uh, and she just. But she I, has... I'm, so, I'm I'm amazed she's still around doing shit. Like I'm I'm actually <laughs> amazed that she's still around because I mean yeah she she's had like four accounts that got struck down and then multiple social media accounts that got struck down, and I don't know what she's doing. Didn't she? Didn't you know what I wish you would have asked, or if you get a chance to? Didn't she file a police report for the stolen iPad? And didn't she file a police yeah. report for the assault with the handcuffs? So what's well, the follow-up? Well, so I know you covered it. You did your own stream on it, like, that night. I mean, the cops showed up. It was live on camera. And uh, she kept talking. Now she's talking about she's in discussions with the FBI. And uh, earlier tonight, uh, I don't know who that fat dude's name was, but he said something about, I can make them both go away if you DJ. want. I, yeah, DJ. I think he just meant, you know, they don't have to be around anymore. And she took that. She tried to say that was a death threat. So she was on here saying, claiming they threatened to kill her and stuff. And put a hit on her. She's like a parody of a real human being. I love how uh, <laughs> it's like every other sentence she says, "Me too." It's a woman's generation. And then after that, like within two or three sentences, she'll say "chlorine forever," and then she'll spell out her fucking shitty channel name so you can come watch it. Yeah, uh, I mean, she doesn't give up easily. Oh, also, you mentioned last night, and I'd seen a couple of posts about this. Is doesn't she like come from money? Isn't isn't her family pr- pr- fairly? That wealthy? was that was a claim. She said that they basically funded the LAPD, and that her father was a millionaire, and that she knew all these politicians and movie stars and musicians, and uh, lived in Beverly Hills and w- was living an affluent lifestyle. But yet, she needs to worry about replacing a fucking iPad, right? Uh, and she, she seems to be interested in how to get, how do I get that text to speech? Well, if you're a fucking millionaire's daughter, why are you worried about five bucks on text to speech, Chlorine? Yeah. Like, what, I, what's the story with that? And I, maybe I could reveal this. Uh, she'll probably be mad at me for revealing this, but about an hour before we are about to go off the air, <clears throat> she sent me a message and I guess somebody else had sent it to her and they said, Ralph's making all this money off you. You ought to make sure you get, you get 25%. She wanted a cut. Didn't she? Yeah. She wanted, she wanted 25%. And then about 15 minutes before we went on the air. She says, I want 50%. So she was trying to hold me up uh, Ultimate Warrior style to drop a <laughs> to drop a wrestling reference. Well, uh, Ralph, she's so fucking stupid. Uh, send it to her in Bitcoin because I don't <laughs> think she can ever work out how to get the money out of Bitcoin. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it's like you know, she's just sit there staring at the computer. How do I get the numbers out? It's me too, me too girls. How do we get the Bitcoins out of the she computer? Legit, I like, get a lot to She went from 25 to 50, 50 right before we go on the air. She's like, I want 50. She she looks like a human sized Barbie doll that had you gotta type your uh, uh, you gotta type your credit card face. number and your expiration date in the chat. That's how you get the Bitcoins out. <laughs> no, wait, what'd you say, Jim? I said she looks like a human-sized Barbie doll that had somebody put a fucking blowtorch to its face. Like, she's telling me she's had no plastic surgery. I don't know who she's trying to kid with that. That is an old <sighs> That's lady. a 100% lie. There's no way she has none. She's also, an old, old lady. Also, it was, it was difficult. By the way, thanks for the suggestion on how to get her on because uh, she did No, sound... no, Skype is Skype is great. We used to do prank calls on Skype all the fucking time. Like, yeah, uh, it it, really it's, it's, oh, it's wonderful using Skype to She do actually that. did create a regular Skype account, but, of course, that was too... She too confusing. Could, yeah, right. it's too confusing. So uh, I just back in the day. Yeah, 
Well, yeah, I, I don't know much about your guys' families, but maybe you have, like, that elderly relative yeah. that gets confused at Thanksgiving dinner. That's kind of what she reminds me of, is, like, you know, how do I get the VCR to work? How do I get the TV to work? <laughs> My aunt, she used to think, she used to see a show, and it would be a replay of a program, and she would she would think, like, it was a new show. You know what I mean? Like, like this is a new one coming out. It's like, no, it's syndication. They they show these on this channel. You know, well, yeah, that's the great thing about dementia. <laughs> yeah. They're always entertained. It's always new. Yeah, it's like, it could be the 50th rerun of that Magnum P.I. episode, and that's a fucking mystery for them. <laughs> that Andy Griffith, how does he stay so young? <laughs> no, seriously, like, it's, uh, it was, anyway. Uh I guess. I mean, what else? What else is going on? Oh, I guess? oh you're you're struggling for a topic. I'm struggling. It's I'm to struggling. Play, it's, it. time, <laughs> it's time to play uh, <laughs> uh, Viva La Rasa, uh, Ralph. That's no. how we feel oh, better. Oh no! No. <laughs> yeah. oh, so they they're what is Andy killing his show then too, or is it just no? He's going. No, to, he said he's, he's, going. he's going to continue doing his show, but uh, he the Kumites he said run out of the steam and they are just not feeling it anymore. And uh, the last I checked, Tonka was on there arguing with Zoom. And then I turned it off because I had to do my own show, so. Yeah, the worst case show is going three nights a week. I think it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. JF was gloating. Uh, pretty much what you said was going to happen happened, though. You said if JF and Andy split up, th that uh, they're going to split their audiences. And if you look at, like, you can just see it. Well, exactly yeah, I mean, you, you can't have a scheduled show, right, where you're doing it, like, three, four times a week, and you've got two guys hosting it, and then you split, and one guy continues doing a scheduled program, and then the other guy is kind of like, well... I'll do one one night a week, and then I'm going to do like a morning gaming show, and then I'm going to do another morning show with two other guys. Because then your audience is like, well, what fucking time do I tune in? At least with JF, you know, people knew when it was, where it was, yep. and when to expect it. So he was able to, you know, they split the audience, but he was able to retain the people that went with him. I think Andy's problem was he split the audience, but then he was kind of hopping all over the place. And so people didn't know, like, what, what am I tuning into? What show am I supposed to watch? Because you have three of them. Yeah, and he didn't hit the ground running, so JF just, you know, immediately, you know, started streaming every day, pretty much like 7 p.m. Eastern every single night he's on, and you know... J you JF him. is the quintessential Frenchman. He used <laughs> his show to hit on every bitch he could get on that fucking program. <laughs> he's like, today we're going to have, uh, what is it, Emily Yukis? Yeah. And then uh, the next day we're going to have this blonde chick, and then the next day we're going to have this other... <laughs> it was almost like he was using it as a dating service for Faith the fuck Goldie. Faith Goldie was on there last night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he knows. He is the most French Frenchman I've ever seen. <laughs> He's looking for that pussy when he can get it. But I can't yeah. even fucking hate on it because it's genius. Yeah, man. No, no, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, he's, he knew he's exactly actually, what he was doing. You, you have to give it to JF. He's actually getting paid money to hit on chicks. Like he's he's sitting there with his best game. Like he's at the bar. Like, hey, baby, you know, you want some D? And then he's like, hold on a second. Uh, you know, 1488 wants me to say the 14 words here for $5. <laughs> okay, so, bitch, where you live? <laughs> you know, he's like, got that shit down. Speaking of uh, JF. We are oh, in the public space, but I can take you back to the private space. You've, you've, talked, <laughs> you've talked about this a couple times. I mean, several times, actually. How, how, I guess, the crowd crowd and also... Um, you know, other people were like, why don't you make this video on JF? He's such a lol cow, and why don't you just make it up? Uh, is there any better way to ensure that you don't make a video than to try to pressure you into making a video? No, I mean, that was the thing. Like, it, it was nonstop, right? Uh, and it was like three distinct groups doing it, but they're kind of all interconnected in a weird fucking way. Right. Uh, but it was like, yeah, first it was, you should do a video on JF, and the thing I was waiting for was the, uh, you remember the destiny JF court case? Yeah, I do. How that yeah. Was, yeah. Like yeah. I, I was, it waiting never for that happened. Yeah. 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 I, I, if that had happened, I was going to cover it. Cause that would have been funny as shit for a thousand different fucking reasons. Oh, God. Uh, so I'm kind of like, okay, I'm going to wait for this and see where this plays out. Cause he was like, I'm going to file a lawsuit and destiny's like, Oh, take me to court. So I was like, great. This is going to be like five videos worth of fucking shit to, to talk about with these two guys in court with each other. It was a funny thought, but it didn't happen. And then, and then I start getting all these fucking messages from people that were associated with Crowd's Discord or associated with uh, the liberalist movement, all saying, JF's an epic low cow. You got to milk those nipples and all this kind of. They're trying to like, use the lingo, but it use doesn't really fucking fit. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I'm not really interested. And then they got angry. And then it was, you're biased, Jim. Why don't you just say that you're a neo Nazi? That's why you won't cover JF, because JF is, of course, the poster boy for neo Nazis, apparently, right. in their mind. Yes. Um, 
and then it got they got they just kept getting angry and angry and i reached the point where i was like you know i i don't there's no other community that i would let do that i don't have a bunch of fucking furries come up and say you need to make a video on this guy jim or else you're you're an other kin like fuck off what do i care what a bunch of fucking furries want me to make a video on it's like oh uh, people that already don't like me are gonna say bad things about me because i didn't make the video they want yeah i mean it's like what yeah, so it, it reached the point where it was like, it's funnier to watch you get angry about me not making the video than actually making a video on it. And besides, the other thing I noticed is all these fucking people that keep bringing up make a video haven't made a fucking video of their own. Where are all their hot takes on JF? Where are those super funny fucking videos these guys put out? Because I haven't seen one. Yeah, I mean, you don't have a monopoly on, on everybody else creating videos. It's not like you can stop them. And that's another thing with the shows. Somebody was like... Um, this show, I, I really, I'm sad it's going away, and I wish I had something to watch, or, you know, go do it, your own show. Like, I mean, I don't know. Um, a couple couple more things now. Um, Jeff Holiday on Dr. Phil, did you see that? Yeah, he was dealing with a crazy bitch. I just like the diarrhea quotes. You talked about <laughs> shitting yourself a lot, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. It can oh. cure the gay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Best clip. Yeah, people in your chat are asking what happened to Bering. From what I understand, yeah. somebody said it was uh, something to do with him advertising or advertising some kind of a, a dating site or something. No, at oh. the beginning of his videos, he has a thing for like some CBD oil, and uh, like I didn't even think about it. So I was watching. I uh, actually, I know your good friend, the quartering. Uh, I was watching. He did a he did a video on it, and uh, I was in a parking lot earlier because I was driving around, so I just turned it on. And I was I was thinking, oh, spam reporting, maybe this is bullshit. And then he just happened to mention the <clears throat> the CBD oil ad that plays at the beginning, and I hadn't even thought of that. And uh, I think that might actually be it. Uh, maybe yeah. maybe there's some false claims in there. I don't well, really know. Well, you know, you know, speaking of my great friend, the quartering. <laughs> um, I, I yeah, I saw that conversation. All right, wait a minute, are we live right now? Are yes. we on the air? Yeah, that that conversation was great. I love listening to two dudes. Talk about who's richer. I, I have seven figures in my bank account. Well, I've got more than you do. Well, I've got a master's degree. I almost went to Princeton. Well, you know, it's yeah, like, it literally it was, was that. It was surreal that night. It was after, I, I, the after show. And the I, Coach I Red Pill you. says he has three different. What did he say? He three has three kids. kids from four women. Something, yeah, which doesn't. I don't even how know. Does how does that math work out? That's why, would say, why would you say you have three kids from three women? It's the fourth <laughs> one you're in you I don't off. know. That's, that's, what, that's what he said. I'm not sure. That's some next level shit. That uh, <laughs> that's some Steiner math right there. <laughs> yeah, maybe the fourth woman was alone in the third one of her uterus or something. I don't know. <laughs> that's some kind of weird thing. But uh, no, watching those two go at it was funny. Uh, as they kind of went back and forth. I wish you had webcams on because I'm pretty sure they would have whipped their dicks out and had a measuring. I actually said that. that at one point. I was like, oh, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt because I thought you guys were about to start measuring your dicks. Okay, a couple more. I do have topics. It, it helps to just go down your feed and, and read about the shit you've been talking about already. Um, Monday Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Monday Matt and his recordings. I don't know if you saw his tweet. I guess it was yesterday where he said, oh, he's been drunk and he's been tired and he doesn't like he doesn't like the person he's become. And uh, he, he's sorry and he's going to... Oh, well, there, there was back. a new one. And I, I really wanted to... I heard to he was shit-talking so. you, actually. I haven't yeah, heard Yeah, I know. No, yeah. There's one where he's like, and 70% of Jim's contents are, are lies. And then he brings up Sargon, and I wanted to take it. He's like, because he doesn't show context, right? And I really wanted to take that clip and change it. So he said, and 70% of Sargon's content is lies. <laughs> <laughs> and then put it up for laughs. Yeah, no, I had a bunch of dumb fucks like from the crowd server, like Dralasta and all these other YouTube academic retards uh, bitching me out saying, you secretly recorded him. I'm not the one that recorded that, and I'm not the one that released it. Like, I'm not in control of these secret recordings, so I don't know what the fuck these are. Yeah, I think are. that was your, your last I saw on your Tom. I was like, oh, Jim's releasing shit or whatever. Clearly having no awareness that that was released, you know, independently. Oh, do you know, do you know what he was bothered about, too, in that clip yeah. where he was talking? He was mad about the Kilroy thing. Oh. I thought you, dude, I watched that little stream you did with him, and you were, like, you weren't even that mean. I mean, you were making jokes because it was obviously a retarded event, but it could have been a lot nastier, let's just put it that way. Uh I don't think he has any right to be <laughs> to be upset about that. No, he can say whatever he wants. I, the funny thing is with the recordings and shit, um, with all three of them, really, people are like, if he said this shit in his yep. videos, I'd sub. I'd watch his stuff. Yep. 
I can't tell you how many people on Twitter are just like, wow, Matt, like, I, I hope he sticks with this because, like, he's actually, you know, I like him now if he talks like he, that. He's not so mundane anymore, right? Yeah. And, yeah, people wanted it, like, people were liking it, but he's, like, apologizing for it. And it's like, why are you ruining your redemption arc? <laughs> no, or, no, you that's know, what arc, I'm Matt, What are you doing? Like, this is the best I've seen Monday Matt probably ever. And the funny thing is, that's the shit he actually believes, but he kind of sanitizes it uh, for his videos and stuff. If he just, you know, shot from the hip like that. Um, no, he could be the do. most red pilled motherfucker on the <laughs> internet again. Yeah, he could. Well, I mean, I know his audience is kind of his numbers are kind of dropping. Um, so I, I don't like. What does he have to lose, right? Why yeah. be the nice guy with milk toast I, opinions? What you're not gaining anything from that? No, I think he'd be better if he was a little meaner. I, I really liked what he said about uh, Greg, uh, Sean Head's boyfriend, and he like sort of walked it back on our on our stream a couple days ago or whatever. Are you talking about the uh, he'd cry if he saw a pussy? Yeah, I thought that was <laughs> fucking fantastic. I was like, damn, dude, that's good. If he was more like that in, on his on his streams and his videos, I think you get you know a better audience and more people would engage with him. Now, I, I, I'm sure all you guys understand that diversity is our strength. Of course, what that's are true. your thoughts on Battlefield 5's new hot trailer? Oh my god, uh, maybe um, MLK was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm not thrilled. With it. I actually love Battlefield 4. I'm not gonna lie. I played so many hours of that. Um, it just I don't know what it's fantasy at this point. So of course they had at least with the War of One uh, Battlefield One, which I also have that. I didn't play it as much though because. I don't know the vehicles. Just the World War One vehicles. Did, just did you see sucked. the copy pasta that people are spamming in the fucking uh, comment section underneath the video? I, uh, I posted a, a cap of it. Yeah, yeah I was about to say I saw the one you put on Twitter here. Yeah, no, me. everybody's been spamming that. Yeah, they're like there are no there are no disabled trannies in World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says trash. EA keeps deleting. I keep posting. Handicapped transgender females did not fight in World War Two. Yeah, I'll pull that. Which up is once, it's completely factually correct. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> War records of disabled trannies running around the battlefields of it's World kinda, War II. It's kind of hard to dispute that, yeah. I don't At the very least, in Battlefield Five, uh, when the disabled tranny uh, person steals the fucking helicopter and crashes into a mountain, it'll actually be somewhat accurate. Well, did you see the amount of women they had in it? Like, in the very yeah. opening five seconds, there's a black chick, like, diving over a tank. Then you got the disabled <laughs> tranny. You got another you got another bitch in the background, like, shooting walls and shit. The, and I was like, what the fuck am I watching? What is yeah. this? The first woman that they have that jumps out of the tank, she's got, like, a missing arm. It's, like, a prosthet prosthetic, like, limb. I didn't even didn't even look like that back then. Well, yeah, no, it's, it's just... Well, the it's funny just, thing is, women were very much involved with World War II, just not on the battlefield. So yeah. There was, you know, a lot of nurses. There were a lot of women. My, my own grandmother, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, helped put together planes and shit uh, in Tennessee. But they're going to have stuff. a factory simulator in Battlefield Five to accurately simulate what women were But it's just like, you really always got to stretch. Like, you don't have to make up shit. Women were actually very much involved in World War II. Yeah. Like, you don't have to... But they weren't in combat units. No, usually. they weren't well, out on the front lines. going to be, like, a scene where they take the beaches in Normandy, and then <laughs> a soldier's going to run up to a commanding transgendered <laughs> officer, and he's going to be, like, reporting for duty, sir. Like, are they going to put <laughs> pronouns and shit in there? <laughs> I mean, they might as well go all the you, way. You, you guys are laughing, but you wait for Battlefield Six and it's see where it's gonna happen. Are. Yeah, the main character of the the main character is gonna be like this this black chick with this huge fucking afro. She's gonna walk out on the beaches of Normandy and solo fifty v one everybody on the beach. Yeah, it's gonna be like black exploitation. Foxy fucking Brown's gonna walk <laughs> into a bunker and she's gonna be like, uh huh, honey child. I'm just gonna start cutting <laughs> white dudes' dicks off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. There, w there was another topic. By the way, we're, we we are in discussions to get both of these people on the program, although not at the same time, of course. But uh, the Maddox and uh, uh, Dick. Thing. If you if you ever Masterson. got Dick Masterson and Maddox in the same stream, that would be the most amazing shit. Well, I've heard, Ralph. we we're in talks to get them both on the show. I I, I mean that might oh. be asking too much to get them both. Did on you know the same that Maddox? Uh, I, I'm fairly certain it was Maddox reported me on Twitter. Did he what? really? Yeah, I made a video making fun of him where I took his cuck video saying that cuck is a beautiful thing and there's nothing wrong with being a cuck. And then I took his, I took his lawyer's statement where he said, being a cuck is beyond a fool. It's the greatest insult. And I overlaid it on his video. And then I, I said, can somebody pass this to Maddox for me? And after like three like three or 400 likes and a, like 100 retweets, all of a sudden Twitter's like, stop bullying people. You need to take a time out. Wow. Yeah, we're trying to get him. We're trying to get him on. Actually, Matt weighed in on that too. I just played a clip, and of course, I was on my little vacation. 
uh, when this. Well, kid how, uh, that's I, I guess I'm confused. How are you going to get Maddox on? Because I'm pretty certain he's going to be pretty destitute after wasting money on a three hundred million well, dollar lawsuit we, he just lost. We're in talks to get him on. That's that's yeah. all I can say. How is he paying say. that internet? Yeah, and then he may or may not come on, but we 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 have talked to him um, through our emissaries, and uh, we're we're uh, we're planning to have him on. So. If it falls through, it falls through. But we we definitely made. Well, content. I'm sure you can. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can get Masterson because he's pretty laid back and he likes to laugh. Uh, Maddox, though, I'd be really surprised because he's kind of uh, uptight little uh, bitch. Now, I mean, you know, if if everything falls into place, of course, we'd love to have him on at the same. Well, time. I no, I know you have to be diplomatic about it. I don't. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, you could say whatever. You <laughs> say. <laughs> You're like, no, no, no. Well, you know, all our guests we respect greatly. Well, no, fuck him. I'm not. I'm not a host. Fuck Maddox. What did you think? I guess I don't have to ask you too much, but uh, what did you think about the the lawsuit itself? Uh, um, I'll just I won't comment. I won't. What, what do I? On. Okay, I'll give you my thoughts on this. So okay. you're going to go to court, and you're going to say I am going to sue these people. I, I'm, I'm not just these people, but like Patreon and everybody else. I'm going to sue fucking everybody because somebody fucked my girlfriend. That's what the lawsuit was. Pretty much. They're calling me a cuck because some dude fucked my girlfriend, and I need three hundred million dollars to feel better about this. I, I I almost wish it had gone through. I mean, I understand that it's going to be dismissed with prejudice and that they're going to make them refile if they want to do it in another state and shit like that. But I almost wish it went through because I would have loved to have heard the witness testimony. I would have loved to have heard a dude sitting on the stand saying, I totally fucked his girlfriend. <laughs> I, t- I banged the shit out of that bitch. She was screaming my names like a fucking howler monkey. I just, I wanted like, you know, how they have the court appointed artists. To get like yeah, a yeah, the, the, crying yes. <laughs> as he's hearing the story of his girlfriend coming to some other guy's dick in her. That's what I wanted. But uh, it, it was ridiculous. It's a fucking internet lawsuits are dumb to begin with. And this is a guy that was, didn't he write like, what was it? The alphabet of manliness and all this other yeah, shit. I think that and, was his book. Yeah. And here he is suing because somebody fucked his girlfriend. Like, how well, you, I guess we know what C is. Yeah. How do you bookend that? Right. Like you start off in one place and you're all the way over here at the end. I, I don't know. I wonder what his co-host thought on that is, because doesn't he do a show with Rucka Rucka Ali? Like, what what does he think of this shit? It's best to just man, just let that shit slide. What what can you? I don't know. Just by blowing it up, and I've said this to to other people. I won't uh, <clears throat> maybe I won't name them publicly, but uh, some people uh, that you might know of audience. Uh, but like at a certain point, people say all kinds of shit about me every single day. Um, by shining a spotlight on it yourself. You're making it way bigger than it would ever be otherwise. So, um, it's... well, yeah, I mean, Masters, I'm pretty sure it was Masterson's or maybe it was Astros or one of the other guys, but one of their lawyers, when they filed their brief, you know, at the very beginning, like, I don't know what the fuck it's called. I'm not a legal guy, but like the, uh, their answer to the charges that were being brought on them mm-hmm. in the civil case, right? Um, like the first letter of every line ended up saying something like, You are a cuck. Like, imagine that. A lawyer put in a coded <laughs> message calling Maddox a cuck in his fucking legal paperwork. <laughs> you mean, like, so if you take the first letter of every one, it spells that out? Is that what you're talking about? Of every about? sentence, yeah. It was like, <laughs> it's calling him a cuck, yeah. Oh, dude, that is, uh, it's pretty harsh, I have to say. <sighs> oh, it got silent there for a second. Is it a Viva, Viva La Rosa time? No, Viva La Rosa. No. <laughs> We don't have one of those. Maybe maybe I should maybe I should think up one just to play anytime there's dead air. We'll just let's we'll hit that. The <laughs> hit. Of the night. There you go. <laughs> there <we> go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, all right, Gator. You have the best soundboard in the business. I have to say. I swear to God, it's so good. Um, speaking of, uh, I Viva, do what I can. Speaking of Viva La Rasa and uh, internet blood sports or whatever. I mean, we're just doing a show here. I don't know if we want to call it Internet Blood Sports, but... You don't have to call it anything. Just do your fucking show. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, exactly. too. That's yeah. kind of how I feel. I mean, we were doing this show way before anyway, so... Um, what did you think of... Uh, by the way, I was on the stream Sunday, obviously. You already know. Most of the people watching this know. Uh, at the first opportunity that I was uh, given to, to leave, <laughs> I took it like when you gave everybody their final statements. I was like, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and give my final statement and leave. Yeah, you uh, wanted to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, yeah I I, it was like six and a half hours long. I, I kind of it, it got tedious at the end there. It got it got really tedious. Uh, and, I, and I'm going to be honest with you. I, there's like another hour or so or 45 minutes after I left. I, I, I don't know what you said. Like, I don't know what happened. 
on that hour. But but what are your thoughts on on that? Well, that, 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 yeah, that was like the second longest stream I did. I mean, uh, the longest would have been election night, which was like eight hours. Uh, but I was more kind of invested in that. I mean, this was I, I was mostly taking a back seat. I mean, uh, you and Worski spoke the least, but after yeah. you guys, it would probably have been me. Uh, and that was kind of the premise that was agreed to. Like people were saying, we want to come on and we want to say uh, you know, the problems we fucking have and uh, present the evidence we have. And I was like, all right, fine. You know, I'll, I'll take a back seat. I tried to explain a little in the beginning for like ten minutes. Like this is kind of the setup. These are the people involved, and and this is what they're going to be talking about. And then it was kind of like, okay, I'm just going to take a a seat back and let uh, people talk about whatever the fuck they want to talk about. So uh, it, it it was just it was a, like a screaming match for six hours. Now, what made you want to do it in the first place? I guess. Uh well, yeah. So I can't remember who it was initially that started saying shit on Twitter, but Zoom eventually jumped in and he's like, well, what about this? And what about this? And then I DM'd him and gave him my perspective on a few things. And he's like, well, you know, this is the issue I have. This is the issue I have. And I knew the uh, backyard radio guys, uh, yeah. Yeah. Jeff Sini and Diogenes, I think, mm -hmm. uh, had an issue with uh, Joakim. So it's like, oh, I don't fucking care. I mean, if people are saying like, if it's the Kumite, if it's blood sports, if it's that kind of a premise where everybody can come on and shit talk each other, and then you got a group of people saying, we can't ever get on to shit talk. I was like, fuck it, whatever. I'll set it up if that's what you guys want to do. That, that was my thought going into it. Like, if you've got okay. grievances, fine. I'll let you blast away at each other for five hours, whatever. And also, this is one of the talking points. I think you might have addressed it. I think I might have saw a post about it uh, later on. I, like I said, I haven't heard the audio because um, I'm still suffering PTSD. Uh, from actually sitting there and listening to people scream about shit I just absolutely do not care about. You dox so and so, you know, I'm s okay, I don't care. Uh, but uh, I think one of the, the anti-talking -talk points was that they were selling merchandise with your with your figure. Yeah, Zoom, Zoom had said that, and I was you know, when I talked to him in DMs, I was like, yeah, that's kind of faggy, because I don't sell merchandise, right? right? And then on the stream, Tonka said, well, you said we could. And I was like, oh, well, I, I don't know then. Uh, maybe he did bring it up, and I was like, fine, whatever, because it was just a blood of Palooza thing, but I, I don't remember it. I don't think yeah. Tonka would have a reason to lie on that. I, I probably He probably asked me on stream. I just don't remember it. But yeah, I mean, I, I've had the Medicare channel for like, what is it, four years now? Yes. Uh, I, I, yeah, and I don't sell T-shirts and hats and mugs and shit. So why, why don't you do that, let me ask I, I I have like flashbacks. Do you remember? Well, you, I don't know if you know who this was, but Helsing? I uh, was this YouTuber back in like 06 and 07. And he was like one of the first people I ever knew to make like open up a merchandising shop. Mm -hmm. And he was so full of himself. And we'd always make so much fun of him because he would sell fucking clocks with his face on it <laughs> and calendars with his face on it and journals with his everything had his fucking face on it. This big fat face staring at you from a fucking clock on the wall. <laughs> and like I can't I can't get that fucking image out of my head. So I was like, I'm never going to do that. I can't ever fucking do that. It is a little cringe. We, I actually, you know, full disclosure, I do have a shop. I put a few things on there like two years ago. I really haven't updated it. Uh, oh, well, I, yeah. I think too. It's like, what? What are you gonna sell? I, if you're yeah. selling something that's not specifically branded, right? It, it has to be something some motherfucker is gonna be like, oh yeah, whatever. I need a T-shirt. I can wear that. Or whatever. I need a hat. I can wear that. Fine. If it, but if it's something fucking obnoxious. You know, like uh, Quick Killer 94's LP channel, and it says that in big fucking letters with pink <laughs> unicorns and shit jumping around. You're going to look like a fucking retard walking out into the street. Um, so I, I think, I guess some channels do better at merchandising than sure. others, but I, I don't want to fucking navigate that in my, or minefield. Well, plus Again, it's just it another. Just flashes me back to Helsing's clocks. And it's also just another thing you have to deal with. Um, and, and it's like, oh, now I got to worry about my store, think about what products. Yeah, it's just. I don't know. It's just another Tom sink. So, well, That's... can anybody explain to me? Uh, this is always what floored my ass, right? They go to what is it, Teespring and shit? Yeah. Uh, to yeah, sell Teespring. their their to sell their fucking merchandise. So you're you're selling a shirt for like thirty bucks, right? This is how lazy YouTubers are. So they'll sell their fucking <laughs> shirt for thirty bucks, and then they're getting like a ten to fifteen dollar profit on it. And then right. Teespring takes the rest, and the and then they're you know they give a portion out for the shipping. You could go to fucking Alibaba or some fucking Chinese site, right? And you could buy that same fucking shirt with the same fucking design for pennies you can. and sell it for half the price that Teespring does and make all the fucking profit from it. Yeah, but they don't, want to, they, they don't want to actually put the business in place. They could, they could operate, a, you know, uh, they have, I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's like a storefront thing. 
that you can run the supplier through that the people that buy it don't see who the supplier is, but it looks like a normal store. But yep. they're so lazy, they don't do it. So that always kind of floored me. Like you could be making more money off your dumb gimmicky merchandise if you didn't go through the laziest fucking method possible. Yeah, but that takes work. You have to you have to get the suppliers <laughs> to do this. I, I I actually have a little experience in doing that, to be honest. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That yep. like the prices 100%. are fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you, you can get the the shirts that you that most people have on Teespring. You can buy it for about a quarter, if that. And if you buy them in bulk, it's even less. Uh, especially if you get it shipped overseas from overseas, it's about. About 15 cents a shirt and to get it screen printed is about a buck and shipping is about a shirt weighs what the 12 ounces so three or four dollars wow yeah i, I, no, I mean somebody in chat saying they don't want to take the risk on the inventory but what it's not like you're going to order a million fucking shirts and even if you did they're a penny a piece yeah but you the thing is you don't you don't screen print all the shirts at the same time you can you hold the shirts as blanks so you can always just sell them back Hey, you know, the other thing, too, is people have always said, why don't you sell a Medicare hat? Well, dude, go to the fucking store, buy a black hat, and get a white marker. Like, you can make that <laughs> shit yourself, right? Like, you don't need me to sell it to you. A DIY, yeah, do-it-yourself kit. Plus, there's places it's, in it's, malls. It's and, five uh, fucking stars on a black yeah. background. I'm pretty sure you can handle that if you got through finger painting in kindergarten. You don't need me to sell you that fucking hat. Plus, there's yeah. booth, there's booth, booths in malls and, you know, sites where you can just, like, send the design and put that on your hat anyway. So, it's not really that tough, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. I saw you, and I'm only mentioning this because I actually set up with my wife. She, she's in London. She's coming in this weekend, but, uh, she lives in London, obviously, as I said. And I watched the royal wedding. Uh, did you not love the face of the royals <laughs> as that wedding was going on? Oh, Every man. Single Dude, one of them looked like they was, wanted to shoot themselves. That was something else, man. I, and they were looking like. We know the cameras are on us, so we can't like laugh as much as we really want to, and like look as disgusted as we as we actually want to. Although the queen did look pretty disgusted, but uh, well, the queen looked like she wanted to give them a honeymoon in Paris. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> that's the look she had on her fucking face when that wedding was going on. It was bad. Like it was bad. Like, and I'm not even hating on Mark or anything like that. But just the actual ceremony was just kind of like clownish. I don't, I don't know. It was. What did you think of? Uh, it's Margot, right? Or what the fuck's her last name? Markle. Markle. Merkel. Mark. Megan. No. Mark. Merkel. Markle. Markle. It sounds like you're making so, Sesame Street noises. <laughs> in the, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Mark, uh, Mark, M A R K L E. Sorry, I have my, I have my accent too. So, so my... Mar Markle. Okay, so yes, Markle. it's like uh, her husband is a Mark that fell for a. Okay, uh, did you see the thing with her cousin where he brought a knife to a nightclub and ran from the police? <laughs> no, I didn't no. see that. Actually. Yeah, he showed up for the wedding, right? Uh, it's one of the you know like how everybody has that fucking relative nobody invites, but he shows up anyway. So this guy shows up, goes to a London club at night <laughs> after the wedding with a fucking knife on him, walks up to the bouncer, probably coked out of his mind, and is like. I've got a blade on me. Here you go. And then the bouncer's like, oi, you can't have butter knives in this country and calls the police. And then people are like, oh, he called the police. And this dude just, he runs away and I think he hid in a trash can. <laughs> uh, I, I missed that story. I, I just, I don't know. This, the actual ceremony itself, though, that, that, uh, I oh, forgot. No, you're, missing, you're missing the best part. Do you know why he brought a knife? Do you no. know what the explanation was for why he decided he needed to be armed in London? No, he actually said Donald Trump, President Donald Trump told me it was dangerous over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't feel safe without a knife because of all the darkies. Wow. <laughs> I see a story here uh, on the Express. What day is this? This is on April 16th. Meghan Markle's cousin writes to Prince Harry demanding invite to royal wedding. Uh, Thomas Markle. I'm not sure if that's the same one, but... Uh... Oh, God, it reminds me of what was the uh, there was a movie from the 90s about uh, John Goodman starred in it where he Oh, King is, Ralph, King Ralph. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. This is King Ralph. This fucking yes. woman's family is King Ralph. Like these people don't they're royals now. It's so weird. It is like, exactly like that. We oh. was Kangs. It's, I may or when, may not. I may or may not have an affinity for that movie because it has my name in it. But yes. Well, yeah, it's blue blood meets bluegrass. You <laughs> yes. get me? I, yeah. It's a, a fusion of two different fucking things coming together. And <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, there was there was another topic, and uh, I'll swear I'll stop scrolling your Twitter feed, but uh, it's reminding me of some things to ask you, so I do appreciate you. I, 
I have one thing about the world wedding left. Okay, go do ahead. You think, go ahead. All right, do, you, do you think they were more mad that she was bl- half black or because she was American? I think they were more mad that she was stealing cutlery. <laughs> <laughs> but she told them it's a custom of my people. So they couldn't, they couldn't say no. That's why the queen was holding. She wasn't mad. She was just holding her purse very tightly while the wedding was proceeding. It's a little racial humor for the audience. I hope they enjoyed that. I don't know. I watched it and just I just couldn't believe this guy. I mean, it was he was you know like histrionics. There was enough histrionics, but he just kept going and going. The the whatever the black preacher's name was. He just oh my going. god! Yeah, it was uh, it was like the coming to America scene with the fucking black preacher. It was great. Yeah, he just wouldn't shut the fuck up. It just <laughs> like it was like, gonna be bad no matter what, especially in that audience. But he just kept going and going. It's like, are you gonna are you gonna finish? Like you know, this is not about you, right? And then they had the they had the black choir, and I was like, "What the fuck is this? Is this a wedding in Harlem? Is this is this the royal family wedding or what?" Like, I I couldn't. Did they I don't serve? Know. Uh, did they serve uh, collard greens and yeah. fried chicken after? Actually, there's. Well, a, they they sung a fucking spiritual. Like when they, they left did. the wedding, they sung a fucking spiritual. <laughs> song. The horse Holy show, hallelujah! They, le- they legit did. By the way, there's this reporter. He works for. Let me see if I can find the tweet, but he works for ABC, and uh, he used to work for CNN. His name is uh, his name is TJ Holmes, and the reason I know him is because he's from West Memphis, and although I was born in Memphis, I lived the first 20 years of my life in West Memphis, and he tweeted out on that day, I'm from West Memphis, which is, there's a lot of black people in this area. It's Mississippi Delta. He says, I'm from West Memphis, and my wedding wasn't even this black. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he tweeted out. Uh, so yeah, it was, uh, it was really, it, it was, it was the greatest shit to watch that <laughs> just, and then they're on the horse drawn carriage and they go to their the little fucking castle and all that shit. But yeah. it, it, it was just, you know, if you ever watch something where you can, you feel uncomfortable because you can see people are uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. and like, that's how I felt. I'm, I'm watching all the Royals and they look like they just want to die. To, <laughs> and I was like, this is the greatest shit ever. Was, yeah, secondhand cringe. Second, <laughs> yes. you know they're hating it, but they don't want to. Like they can't leave. And they can't show too much emotion because they'll be like, "Oh, look at this racist." You know what I mean? Uh, so, oh, I just saw a message. You just know the. Uh, guess you've seen the Kumite is pretty much dead. Yes, I did see that. Uh, on air, you just know the no. queen's just sitting there, just looking back, it's like, "That damn ginger." Well, yeah, didn't like what happened with him, by the way, didn't he go to costume parties dressed as a Nazi? Yeah, he like, did. how did yep. we end up here? He actually did. Yeah, which is why uh, him marrying half black chick now makes perfect sense. Yeah, he, ah, he's he making was kind of like it. he was kind of like the wild child, I think, of the of the royal family. Well, yeah, I, I still think of him and his brothers like kids because I, I was used to seeing them with Diana all the fucking time. Uh, and then, like, seeing him, uh, his by fucking way, brother bald as shit in the church, I was like, holy <laughs> fuck, he's old. It made me think that I'm old too. Yeah, I, I still remember being kids. I guess they were a few years younger than me, maybe a couple of years, right around my age. Though I still remember when Diana died. It was a big deal, of course. And uh, was, uh... <laughs> well, yeah, they pretty much assassinated. Yeah. Her. So yeah, just, uh, <laughs> we're talking about that a little bit. <laughs> no, but I remember being in the seventh grade, and I think it was seventh or eighth grade, and I came to homeroom, and all the little girls are crying, and they're like, "Oh, Diana's dead." And, I was just sitting there like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Karen just called me again. So. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I took up probably too much of your time. Yeah, you can go no, back. No, 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 no. Wait, one more, one more. <laughs> okay, one more. all right. One more. One more. Uh, there's another rumor that uh, you're okay. actually the, the man behind the Murdoch Murdoch series. Can you Can you confirm that or... No, I probably shouldn't confirm that. I don't want to let the secret out of the bag, you know. Um, <laughs> running all these alternate channels with really heavy... Because I'm known for my high production skills. I don't know if you can tell or not. <laughs> yeah. uh, really great editing. Good sound quality. That's specifically what I'm known for is the amazing sound quality of my fucking videos. Uh, so I don't I, I, you know, I don't want to give any of the uh, the truth seekers out there any hints as to the, uh, the validity of this claim. All right. We won't... Let's Wait. just say you'll have to investigate the wheat fields. Uh, we're not saying that properly. It's the wheat fields. <laughs> the wheat fields, right. <laughs> See, that's how I know you're an imposter. 
That's how we check each other. <laughs> we ask you, we ask you to pronounce something that's white or it's got the wh sound in it. <laughs> uh, all right, Jim. Thank you. By the way, uh, Corinne wants back on. I don't. I think you're pretty much done with her, though. So. Um, no, I I don't care about that baddie old shit. Yeah, no, I. I <laughs> I, I came on uh, because she wanted to know the secrets of the the dark net, and so I explained. <laughs> a little bit to her. But she wasn't interested in hearing about how uh, Jihadi Jarbo is a wanted international criminal. So I'm I'm just gonna let that one go. I think she, she just wouldn't listen. I mean, you can't talk to people that won't listen. So, um, thank you, man, for coming on. I appreciate it. Yeah, take it easy. Thank you very much.